Mach 1 has created the most simplified approach to spatial audio that preserves existing audio best practices. With this video, I'll bring you through the Mach 1 Spatial System, a spatial audio workflow that works with any DAW, which includes the following tools, Mach 1 Panner, Monitor, Video Player, and Transcoder, and show you examples of how these tools have been used together for creation of spatial sound mixes. I'll start out by opening a Mach 1 template to get you familiar with how the panner and monitor look and how they work. So here we have three channels. One is a mono audio track, one is a stereo audio track, and one is quad. Each of these channel configurations can be used in the Mach 1 spatial system. In order to spatialize the channels, you have to put a Mach 1 panner on the insert, and then route it to the spatial mix bus. With the quad sources, you can also change the panner settings. You can either use this just as a quad or as Ambisonic's A or B format as an input. Let's say we're working on a virtual reality project and we have some mono foley, some stereo production, and a quad field recording. At first look, the panner is pretty straightforward. It gives you the ability to place the audio object within a three-dimensional space, control over rotation, height, and spread, and also has other cool options like overlay that we'll get into a little later. One of the features is a divergence control. The amount of divergence represents how much sound is isolated in that desired direction and not anywhere else. At maximum 100% divergence, the signal is not audible in the opposite direction, which is pretty cool and unique to the Mach 1 format. As you lower the divergence, signal is more omnipresent in all directions. So let's say we place the audio where we want it to be in the space, add effects, compression, or whatever we want. And let's see where it gets bus to and how we hear it in stereo. So we follow the spatial mix bus here. This is where all of the Mach 1 spatial audio is being routed. Think of this as your mastering section. This is the last step to change how your audio sounds as a whole. After the master bus, it gets sent to two places. The spatial print bus, where you can print your mix in real time or bounce it offline if you select spatial print bus as the bounce source. It also gets sent to the spatial monitor bus. This is what decodes the 8-channel audio to stereo. It reflects where you're looking at in the space. Monitor has nothing to do with panning, it's literally just how you look around your mix, like you would when you are experiencing the project in VR. So imagine it's tracking your head. So that's a very brief overview of monitor and panner. Let's open a full session we were working in for VR and see how we would finish this process. So in this project, we have been working to a monoscopic version of the video. This is where the overlay function in the panner becomes very helpful. They are all dead. There was bodies. Here, I just saw them. So by using this function, we can now pan directly to what's in the video. As you can see, as we move the overlay, it changes the parameters. Now as you go through panning with the overlay, you can just drop automation markers, clean it up, Make it smooth, and there you have it. They're all dead. There was bodies. Here, I just saw them. To get a better feeling of what this mix will be like spatially, you can load your video that you've been working to into Video Player, and it links directly to Monitor. So you can drag the visual around, and the audio follows. Kel, I don't understand. Why wouldn't you be going to... What are you doing? Trent, um, what's They've going activated on? security protocol. Is it like a drill or something? We don't do drills. Move it. There's something going on with the cargo those scientists brought on board. I'll clear the inner cord. Take the outer ring. Now say we have a mix that we like. We print the audio. 
Now to lay back audio to video, we open Transcoder. We bring the audio here. And the VR video here. You can choose the spatial format that you need, which can be any of these. Which is fantastic because Mach 1 is a master delivery format for spatial audio. You can future-proof your mix in Mach 1 and downmix and export into any other spatial audio format you need automatically with Transcoder. This project in particular was distributed through the Samsung VR app, which supports Mach 1 spatial format natively, so we'll choose Mach 1 spatial and hit encode. So destinations, uh, like different apps, may require certain naming conventions in order to decode properly. So I'll add a list of those naming conventions below. So that was a brief overview of what you would need to start a project and experiment on your own. I'll be doing a couple more videos in depth about each of the plugins, and also about how Mach 1 mixes can be used in Unreal and Unity game engines.